Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In the previous video, we have seen characteristic table, excitation table of SR flip-flop. In this video, let's see the characteristic table and equation and excitation table of JK flip-flop. As we know, in the JK flip-flop, we have an inputs called J and K and this flip-flop will be operated with positive or negative edge of the clock and it generate Q and Q bar outputs. When the positive edge of the clock is the input with J and K values, this is how the truth table will be. When J is 0 and K is 0, the output of the flip-flop will be in hold state. Means Q will be same as Q and Q bar will be same as Q bar. It will be holding its previous state as output. When J and K are 0, 1, Q will be 0 and Q bar is 1. Similarly, when J is 1 and K is 0, output Q will be set to 1 and Q bar will be set to 0. When J and K both are 1, the output will be toggle. Means, if Q is equal to 0, it will be toggle to Q bar state and Q bar will be toggle to Q state. This is how the truth table of JK flip-flop is. By looking at the truth table now, let us construct the characteristic table. To write the characteristic table, we know that we need to write all possible cases of inputs with possible cases of current state. Here Qn is the current state and Qn plus 1 is the next state output. When Qn is equal to 0 means if the current state of the JK flip-flop output is 0 and we are providing 0, 0 as input, what will be the output? When 0, 0 is the input, the output of the flip-flop will be hold state. Means when J is 0, K is 0, it will be holding the state as it is. So output will be the next state is 0. Again, if the previous state of the output is 1, when 0, 0 is the input given, it will be holding its state to 1 again. This is for 0, 0 combination of JK values. When J is 0 and K is 1 and the current state of the output is 0, irrespective of this, it will generate the output to 0. Why? Because when 0, 1 is the input here, we have seen in the truth table, output will be 0. So, q n plus 1 is the next state becomes 0. When 0, 1 is the input again and the current state of the output is 1, again the output will be 0 itself because of j is equal to 0. And 1, 0 is the input and current state of the output is 0, it gives 1. Why? Because here for 1, 0 we say 1 is the result. So, when j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 0, whatever the previous output is, we will be getting 1 as result. And again for 1, 0 with 1 as the current state, the next state will be 1 again because of j is equal to 1. For 1, 1 state with previous state 0, it will toggle this. We say this will be toggled because of 1, 1 input come as input at the JK flip-flop and 0 at the current state will be changed to 1 in the next state. This is toggled to 1. And similarly, if it is 1 in the previous state with 1, 1 input, this will be toggled to, this is also toggled to 0. This is how the characteristic table will be for JK flip-flop. Now from this characteristic table, we can get the characteristic equation using the K map. Here I have taken J vertically with this value 0, 1 and K, Q in horizontally like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So these are the ones I have obtained from the characteristic table. So let us group these two together. These two becomes one group and this one can be grouped with this one. Now if you look at the expression for this group, let me write it as Qn plus 1 will be equal to. So this vertical group will be having here jj, j get cancelled. Here it will be k bar Qn. So it is k bar Qn for this plus. So this corner to one values group, it will be having j with this j and here 0, 0 and 1, 0. So k get cancelled, remaining is Qn. So Qn bar because of 0, it is Qn bar. So k bar Qn plus j into Qn bar is the characteristic equation for JK flip-flop. Now let us write the excitation table. How to write the excitation table? By looking at the characteristic table itself. 
this characteristic table output gives the excitation table. Now we need to take Qn and Qn plus 1 is known. So when Qn is this and Qn plus 1 is this, what is the expected input values we are supposed to provide to get Qn, Qn plus 1 like this. So for this, we need to first take 0, 0 case. When Qn is 0, Qn plus 1 is 0. Here we need to look for this Qn and Qn plus 1, these two columns, 0, 0. Here Qn and Qn plus 1 is 0, 0. And here also Qn and Qn plus 1 is 0, 0. So we need to take these two values into consideration. In these two cases, j is 0 itself. So let me write j as 0. k is changing from 0, 1. k is not same. So we need to write x. If it is changed, we need to write x. So let me take the next case now. When it is 0, 1, qn is 0 and qn plus 1 is 1. So this case, 0, 1. And also we have 0, 1 here these two cases we need to take now. So for 0, 1 will be having jk values 1, 0 and 1, 1. Means by looking at these two, j value is 1. So let me write j value is 1. And what is k? k is changing from 0 to 1. So it is x. Now for 1, 0. 1, 0 qn, qn plus 1. Where is 1, 0? Here is 1, 0. For this 1, 0, and for this 1, 0, we need to look at the j and k values. It is 0, 1, this one, and 1, 1. So, j is changing from 0 to 1. So, in place of j, I need to write x. Here, k is 1, and here also k is 1. So, let me write it as 1 itself. Next, look at 1, 1. Where is 1, 1? Here is my 1, 1, and also here is 1, 1. So, 1, 1 is generated for 0, 0 and 1, 0. Here, j is changing from 0 to 1. So, let me write it as x and k will be 0 itself. So, k is 0. Now, this is the excitation table for JK flip-flop. This excitation table is very much important in flip-flop applications. So, let us remember this excitation table as 0, 1, xx for j and k is xx10. So, if you remember this in this way, k will be in this way. This is the shortcut. So, this is about JK flip-flop, root table, characteristic table and excitation table. In the next videos, let us convert one flip-flop to other flip-flop and let us use these excitation table and characteristic tables there. Thank you.